There's one, guys. There's one. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Geeky Geezer Fishing Channel. In today's video, I'm going to be just uh, covering some water. I'm going to be throwing some reaction baits, maybe jerk bait, spinner bait, um, maybe a lipless crank bait, um, and then I also have my micro jig and and or maybe a drop shot, depending on you know how much water I cover without any bites. We'll see how it goes, but. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Click subscribe, smash that like button, leave us some comments down in the comment section. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in, and we appreciate you guys' continued support. All right, I'll catch up with you guys out there on the water. Hey guys, please, okay. It's just a little guy, but I got one. <laughs> Finally, guys, little ditch pickle. Got me a little ditch pickle at the silver bell. Oh my goodness. Like I said, just a little squirt, but hey, I'll take it. I needed a fish out of here. It's been a long while. Sweet. Before I, I don't know why I cut it before I released him. <laughs> oh, I was just so excited to catch one. Oh my goodness. Sweet. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. All right, drop shot. And I've been throwing everything: <clears throat> jerk baits, square bills, chatter baits, swim baits, trout baits all kinds of stuff and I really was trying not to have to go to finesse but I really wanted to catch a fish finally got one that's sweet oh man I'm so happy right now that's great there we go that's a better fish guys that's a better one there's a better fish stay on baby that's a better one guys Hoo -wee. that's a much better fish guys oh thank goodness i have needed some fish you got a little twisted up there yeah well if you ever need to hold them still you just wrap them up like that oh, that's a better one guys not still not a monster but oh man, <laughs> oh, little fatso, little fatso, <sighs> thank you fish, I needed that one, I needed that one big time. <laughs> Come on.
Good man, how about yourself? Got here. Yeah, I've been around a little bit, but not too much. Can you use these hooks? Any bites? Nah, I've been bass fishing though. It's a little slow yet. I wish I knew how to do it. Yeah, if you don't want them. No, yeah, there's somebody left a, a drinking six pack, a bottle of water, and a plastic bag sitting on the bank. I went to pick it up and throw it away, and those were still sitting in the bag. And I'm like, well, I can't use them, but no, thank if you, you can, it. yeah, for sure. Yeah, I appreciate it, brother. I'll say they're lost. They left the trash, so <laughs> sucks to suck. Yeah, have a good one, man. <laughs> you Come too, up. man. Have a good one. All right, guys, real quick, I just wanted to go over my drop shot setup. I've been doing this for a little while now. I just feel like the polymer knot right here at the hook really is just a weak knot. Um, so I've been using two bobber stops, one on the top, one on the bottom. The one on the bottom helps protect the knot at the weight. Um, this also makes it easy to change your height of your drop shot very quickly. Um, and then I've been doing my nose hooks a little bit different. I've seen a lot of people do it this way, so this isn't something new. But uh, for some people, they're, instead of hooking it straight through the tip of the nose, I've been hooking mine like this um, so that my point's not coming all the way out. Um, it helps it stay a little more weedless. Fam balam, fam balam. 1,000 subscribers, meeting lots of new people, fishing fun tournaments, and I still keep coming back to the old bell. There's one guys, there's one, there's one. Oh, my spinning reel just came apart in my hand. That's a good one. That'll do guys, that'll get the job done, huh? That's a good little fatty. Huh. It's a good little fatty. Good old bell bass. Well, thank you, fish. That was great. Very good. I had one morning on the other side. <clears throat> like on in between those two palm trees by that big tree i was over there and like it, it might have been carp I, I still don't know for 100 percent, but it was like they were doing this but i mean they were bashing themselves up against the bank yeah. and i was like are they bass like feeding and like i was throwing everything over there and like the day before i'd caught some fish in that area it's part of why i went there but i was like oh what's going on you know like so excited and then i'm like or 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 not some big like they just like stirring up everything so it's like well some big carp though it looks like yeah some decent ones Yeah, I just can't tell if they're baby bass or if they're bluegill or if they're if they're getting fed on it looks like.
I think it's Shad, man. Morning. There you go, guys. There we go. There we go. Not a big guy, but there's a fish. Look at that. On something moving, finally. Nothing big, but man, I'll take it. I think he's getting, he's up here trying to feed on these. I think there's shad up here. That's what that's up all up on this bank. And he's eating on them. That's what I think. And if you look down in his gullet, way down in there, you might be able to see it. It's got a crawdad antenna sticking out. There we go. A little doinker, but as a fish, fish at the bell on something moving. He's off. Sweet, 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 sweet. Can't complain with that at all. I love these little tail spinners, dude. They cut, I can cover a lot of water. I can fish it down, I can fish it high. I can fish it fast, I can fish it slow. I can change the blades on it. Make it, uh, make it make a little more thump. I can change it to a willow. I can do a lot of stuff with this thing and I really like that I can do that with this thing. I can cast it super far. That's one of the reasons I like it too, is because I can do so much with it. But yeah, I think there's a bunch of shad just. I know shad spawn around this time of year. So there might be shad just spawning right here. And there might be bass just off on the sides waiting for something to get off look at that there's another one there's another one guys there's bass just hanging around watching these shad that's a little bit better one too a little bit better nothing crazy but a little bit better a little bit better A little bit better. Whew. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Ooh-wee. Two and just a few casts, man. That's great. Get on out of there, bud. They're they're feeding right here, man. I'm glad I I'm glad I noticed these fish all busting up over here. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep fishing it. But there's gonna be fish eating right here. There's one, guys. Little guy, but there's one. <laughs> Little pickle. <laughs> uh, come on. You ain't big enough to even... <laughs> Little guy. First cast over here, though. Little runt. <laughs> Little runt. Thank you, fish. That's on the drip shop. And away he goes. Yeah, little dude. There's a big one back there somewhere. There's definitely a bigger fish back there. I'm gonna keep screwing around. Oh, he's he's dripping. He's dripping. Yeah, he's he, either he or she, whatever it is. This is a little one. But there's one back there making a ruckus. <clears throat> All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up my Silver Bell video. We're kind of just uh, doing it from mid-March to mid-April. The fish have moved up. It was a grind getting started. You know, a lot of people fish this, 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 
A lot of people fish this springtime bite and they get a lot of active fish. This year with all the cold fronts we had, I didn't have that. I threw a lot of reaction baits. I threw jerk baits and spinner baits and chatter baits and um, all kinds of stuff. And I just didn't, I just didn't get any bites like that. Um, I ended up switching over to drop shot or a Ned rig and started catching fish. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you as always for tuning in. If you haven't already, click subscribe, smash that like button and leave us some comments. And those of you that already have, thank you so much. We just reached a huge milestone, a thousand subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. Stay tuned for giveaways and things that we're gonna be doing here uh, real soon. Thank you. I'll catch up to you guys next time out on the water.